Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. Today I have the most adorable craft project for you. We're going to take one of these cute little air plants and we are going to turn it into a jellyfish. And I'm going to show you how to make it right now. For this project, you will need monofilament or heavy thread, a tapestry needle or paper clip, buttons, scissors, sea urchin shells, and Tillandsia air plants. So when you are choosing your jellyfish, you've got many different options of sea urchins to choose from. I really love these guys. I think that these guys are very, very cool. But these are so beautiful and delicate, all of these. It also will um, be dictated by the plant that you have because you're going to want to make sure that the plant will fit into this hole here. And if it doesn't fit into the hole, then you're going to want to find a different plant. So see that one very easily slips right on in. And there are three different techniques for making your air plants into jellyfish. I'm going to teach you all three techniques. The first technique is just to create a hanger with a button and what you do on this case is what you need to do is find a button that will fit in the bottom and not come out the top. So in this case this one is perfect. And what I'm going to do is just take some of this fabulous monofilament and I'm just going to go up one buttonhole and down catty corner the other buttonhole so that I'm making like like one leg of the letter X and then I'm just going to tie this off and then if I need to I can feed this through with the needle. Now why you might need the needle is if you don't have a hole here. Sometimes you'll end up with a, a sea urchin and he doesn't have a very big hole up here and so you might need to use your needle to open it up like that. So I'm going to just take this, pull it through, loop this over at the top here, tie this off just by making a loop and tying it around. That's to hang it. The button is going to hold the jellyfish up and because this air plant fits in so nicely, all I have to do is kind of stuff the air plant up in there and I've got my jellyfish. So that's number one. That's the easiest way to do this. The second way to do this is to actually take your string and tie it around the air plant itself. So you just take your string or your monofilament and just wrap it around these little fronds that are coming out of the foot. This is called the foot and the foot is where the roots are located. So I'm just like threaded that underneath those little fronds there and I'm just going to tie a knot around the plant and then I can feed it up through my sea urchin. Just take that like that and pull it up and through, like that. This is also really great for just hanging the air plant itself. You can, if you just want to have dangling air plants, which some people like to do, believe it or not. So then the other thing that I wanted to teach you is how you can use the button and the air plant. So the first thing you do is you like I just did, you wrap it around the fronds there and then you take a button. Now this is a great one to use as an example because we've got such a big opening and the thing about it is if I put my, my air plant in here and push it all the way up to the top, it doesn't have very big tendrils. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use the button as the stopper and I'm going to have the plant hanging down lower. So what I'm going to do here is I've wrapped it around so that the the little plant is all set and then I'm going to take my button and I'm actually going to go through like I did before catty corner one side to the next and then I'm going to come back up 
from the other side. And I'm going to use this to adjust how tall I want to make this. So we're just going to pull that up just a little bit. Then we're going to feed this button in. We're going to pull it up, make sure that it's where we want it. Yeah, that's a lot better. So now what I'm going to do is pull this out. This is where I want my button to be. So I'm going to pull this out, whole thing, and tie the button off now, like I did before. Just feed that through there. Take your button up through the center. There we go. There we go. And now you got the perfect hanging jelly. So the greatest thing about this craft is that your jellies will be as unique as the sea urchins and the air plants themselves. Aren't they amazing? So you could have like a whole ocean of jellies. Now, make sure you check out my next video that'll be coming up because I'm gonna teach you how to take the best care of these air plants so that they stay healthy and thrive and grow. For more great ideas, check us out, sophie-world.com.